Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this session, we are going to solve question three from the KCSE 2018 paper one, math of course. So the question says the base of a right pyramid is a rectangle of length 80 centimeters and width 60 centimeters. Each slant edge of the pyramid is 130 centimeters. Let's uh, underline slant there and we are asked to find the volume of the pyramid so to find the volume of the pyramid in this case a rectangular pyramid is going to be equal to the area of the base times the vertical height everything divide by three so the area of the base is there because we're told it's 80 centimeters and then this side is 60 centimeters so we've got the area of the base but the problem is we don't have the vertical height and now which one is the vertical height well the vertical height is from the apex of the pyramid to the center of the base so this distance from there to there that's the height that, that we need is a vertical height. Now, how do we go about getting this? Well, first of all, we know the slanted sides are 130 centimeters. So we got this side, this side. Uh, what we want to do is find a H. Uh, what can we use that we have learned? What can we apply? Well, if I uh, sketch a line there, uh, and this is a vertical height that means that's a right angle there um, I can use this right angle triangle to find my height but the other problem I have is that I don't know this length now let me label this corner so that's a this is B this is C let's say this is D and this point here is E so the problem uh, that I have I don't know what a E is so before I can go ahead and find uh, AE, I need to use another triangle in order to find AE. So if I extend the line AE all the way to B, and because I'm told I have a rectangular pyramid, the corners are going to be 90 degrees. So if I draw this triangle ABC out, so I'm going to do that just now. So I have this triangle here. This is A, this is B, and this is C. And now we know AC is 80 centimeters, and we know BC is 60 centimeters. AB is what we're looking for, so we can get AE. Right, so let's use the Pythagoras theorem because we have a 90 degrees at C. So we know a b squared then that's going to be equal to 80 squared plus 60 squared a b is going to be equal to the square root of 80 square plus 60 square so 80 squared is going to be 6400 plus 60 square is 3600 which is going to be equal to the square root of 10 thousand therefore then a b is going to be equal the square root of that is going to be 100 centimeters so now i have a b i can get a e so i can say here therefore a e is equal to 50 centimeters so let's go ahead and put that in this is 50 centimeters now then i've got two sides if i look at the triangle a d e i've got two sides and one missing side which is the height that we need so again i'm going to apply the pythagoras theorem I have A here, I have D here, which is the apex, and then I have E here. Now I know AE is 50 centimeters. This is the height I'm looking for, ED or DE. Now remember, this is going to be 90 degrees, which makes this is AD is the hypotenuse, which is uh, the slanted side of the pyramid is 130 centimeters. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and use the Pythagoras theorem. Well, what do I have? The hypotenuse is 130. So that squared is equal to h squared 
plus 50 squared. So therefore, h squared is going to be equal to 130 squared minus 50 squared. So therefore, height is going to be the square root 130 squared. So 13 times 13 is 169. And then the 20 minus 5 times 5 is 25. And then because we square, you have the uh, two zeros. So therefore, height is going to be the square root of 144 uh, hundred, which is going to give you 120 centimeters. So now we have the height as 120 centimeters. We can go ahead and find the volume. So volume is going to be equal to area of the base. So area is just going to be 80 times 60. So 80 times 60 times the height, the vertical height, which we just uh, calculated, 120 centimeters. Everything divided by three. Now, if you work this out, then you will get the volume of this pyramid is 192,000 centimeters cube so this is the answer to this question guys if you enjoyed this video remember to press like and subscribe to see more questions thank you and bye for now